bud. What's up everyone, Katie from Remy Tennis. Hope you guys are doing great today. Today we got a racket review for you guys and that racket is the Yonix Percept 97D. So if you wanna learn more about this racket, stick around because I'm gonna tell you all about it. But before we get into it, do not forget to like and subscribe. We have lots of great content on the channel. Also, if you wanna support us, you can use the super thanks uh, button. That really, really helps us. No pressure at all though. If you are wanting to buy some products, you can use our codes and affiliate links in the description. We have a couple different ones down there, so definitely check those out if you're interested. But of course, like and subscribe. So this is the Yonix Percept, guys. This is a new release. It's replacing the V-Core Pro. Um, this is the 97D version, which is 18 by 20. Um, they also have a 100 and a 16 by 19. But big thanks to Tennison as well. They sent me this uh, for you guys so I could talk about it and review it. Um, so yeah, what do I think? The cosmetic is, it's just okay. Nothing super crazy. The color's more of a dull color. It has that pink here. Uh, nothing crazy though, it's okay. Um, but I mean, how does it play? That's what you guys wanna know. This is a player's racket for sure. This is not a racket that I would recommend to a young junior or an adult beginning or anything like that. Um, the string bed is, is an 18 by 20. I, I, it's even tough for me to play with it, in my opinion. Um, it's not gonna give you free power and it's not even gonna give you that much free spin either, in my opinion. Um, so if you're somebody that's you know, just getting into tennis, uh, you know, or you've played tennis a lot, but you feel like you need power from a racket, I would probably stay away from this one. However, if you are somebody that has played tennis for a really long time, you're experienced, you'd like a lot of control, you generate your own power well, you use your body well, this is gonna be a great option. Um, this racket plays a lot like the Gravity Pro, uh, both editions, the old and the new, in my opinion. Um, and I'm gonna tell you why. So, from the back on the forehand side, it feels a lot of the things in this racket are just okay for me. This, this racket is kind of out of my wheelhouse a bit. But on the forehand, uh, it just felt okay. I was able to, um, you know, play good topspin, but I felt like, a lot of my rally balls were maybe landing shorter than I would have hoped. And I think that's just because this racket, the string bed is pretty tight. Uh, I felt like I was kind of playing with a board a bit. Sometimes that's not a bad feeling because it just feels really solid. This racket feels very solid. I didn't add any weight to it because I didn't need to. Um, but I just felt like I really had to swing as hard as I could and use all of my body to have something good come out of my rally ball or an approach or something like that. When I did do that and I made contact in the middle of the string bed, it was amazing. Crisp, butter, all the, the words, it was great. But I didn't get that sensation enough for me. Um, like I said, when it comes to, you know, on the forehand, it reminds me a little bit of the gravity and some other control frames I've played with just tough for me to generate what I want out of it. And that is some more power, more launch. Um, but this is also an 18 by 20 as well. Same thing on the backhand as well, had some similar issues there, but I didn't mind it as much because I hit more of a flatter backhand. And I also like to use the slice and uh, this had some good feel. I mean, it's an 18 by 20, um, 97 square inch. So on slices, it was actually pretty good. Touch feel shots, it was also good, like kind of some drop shots and stuff. So if you're somebody that likes to get a little crafty, like Yonix rackets, might want to look in, in at, at the Percept line. Um, but yeah, overall, back end, just okay. Average, nothing out of this world. You come up to the net, this is where this racket, I think, is wanting to shine. I don't know if it does though. So by that I mean, I think if you're somebody that has great hands, you wanna play with an 1820, um, I think this racket will perform well, but I didn't actually love it at the net. It did 
it did the job and like I said it was just okay it, it was just okay um, but I was hoping for more and I think that's maybe why I was a little bit disappointed with it at the net just because sometimes these 97 square inch rackets you know like pro staffs and stuff you get excited to hit volleys and drop shots and slices and I just feel like at the net it kind of let me down a little bit um, it just didn't feel great as good as I was hoping for. But it still did the job, still was able to hit clean overheads and put away volleys. It just didn't feel as, as good as I was hoping for, but it got the job done. Um, also on serve, wasn't quite able to get the amount of power that I wanted from it. Um, I was able to hit my spots, I made lots of serves, but I just couldn't get the pop. And I think over a long period of time in a match, that might maybe put me in a bad spot uh, if my opponent's kind of eating up my, my rally balls and my serve, um, that's gonna be more work for me. So you really need to be able to generate your own power, your own spin, your own racket head speed to play well with this racket. If you do those things, this racket will play unreal. And that's why I really think it plays like the gravity because a lot of those things align with the gravity line. On returns, I actually think this is where this racket shined, um, especially when guys are, are serving flat serves at you. You gotta just gotta block it back, push it deep. This was very stable. This racket actually is very stable. Didn't have any um, instability issues or anything. No weight needs to be added here at all for me. Um, and I mean, it just, it was not wobbling at all. In fact, I think it, was almost too stable in a way that I felt the weight. Like I was almost like maneuverability was almost maybe even coming an issue as well. Um, so yeah, no weight needs to be added to this, but return was definitely probably the highlight for me. Uh, it played really, really well. So yeah, I mean, not my racket. Um, if you're playing on a high level, maybe you play with the V-Core Pro as well before. I think this could be just an update. However, I didn't play with the old V-Core Pro, so it's tough for me to say. I think the 1619 version would be a different story, though, for me along with the 100 version. Uh, this one, I think, is definitely um, one that's the hardest to play in the lineup of the Percept. So. That's gonna be it, guys. This is the Yonix Percept 97D. Thanks again, Tennyson, um, for sending me this, and lots of more reviews to come in the next little while. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you guys on the next video.